This conference will now be recorded. So TestNG is a testing framework designed to simplify a broad range of testing. And uh, so what it provides, it provides the annotation. So what is annotation? It controls the program flow execution and uh, the previous to test ng in the market there was j unit so j unit it works in the eclipse uh, it comes as the extension test ng also comes as an extension in the same we can use so how to install how to to use it we'll see okay in the next step so test ng who is a target audience to learn test ng like all the qas who are working on a selenium java they can work on test ng framework and then test ng is simple to use it provides the annotations benefits so what is test ng test ng has uh it will be helping in selenium code writing the test cases so what advantages it is providing so providing the advantage like we can use uh, the test data files read that work with that along with test ng generator html report so test ng automatically generates the html report that is test ng based uh, report okay and then it provides you the logs logs is information like which test case is pass which is fail where it is failing how much time it took for execution so what before we go into annotations we will see like how to do that installations in the eclipse okay just a minute guys i will start uh, okay so what are annotations so annotations will control your program execution so java program where it starts executing with the main method right so your program execution starts with main method and in that main method you write a logic right so we have used a main method and that uh, main method main is public static void main the main method so in that we write all the uh, web driver initialization driver dot get and then launching and then clicking on an element send key so everything is written in the main method because main method is the starting point of execution okay so but when we are using test ng we will not write a main method so java program execution starting point is main method but in test ng the execution is controlled with this annotation so we don't need a main method okay so we will not be using the main method so we will be using test ng annotations that will control the execution so you will write a method so what is the method reusable component so what is a method in java we have seen so method is method is return type it will have void and then method name and uh, parameters right so this is my method so inside this method you write a logic particularly so print or to do some activities and then this is your method and then for example i have this method and i want to execute this method after every test case okay after test means this is the annotation it will be executed after the each test method okay before suit it will be executed before executing anything in that framework entirely before suit will be in executed at the beginning only once before all the tests are test in the suit have run okay so only once after suit is executed after the all and uh, will run once after execution of all the test in the suit so these are the annotations that are making that method execute multiple times one time all that okay so what is the test annotation test annotation is if you write at the rate test means this is your test case okay so this is your test method where you are verifying the proper logic for something so you have a test case for example verify title okay so this is your test case so title you are verifying 
this is your test method before this test method you need to perform different activities what are launching the browser system set properties that are there but that you need to execute only once right yes or no guys so this is your setup method okay so i will write a void setup method and then in this you will write all the logic system dot set property driver dot get launching and then verify the title logic you will write here okay so like this you have different different test cases verify home page verify registration verify invalid registration valid user registration all that different different test cases you have but setup you need only once okay so you will write that method as a only once you want to execute so you will write a before suit okay so before suit you execute only once this method and then that's it okay no need to execute before and after each test so what is before method so before each method it will be executed okay so for example you have a method setup and then you have a method launch a url okay so launch a project url you have a method and then you want to launch that before each test case and close after each test case so you will write this method with the annotation before method so at the rate before method you will write and driver dot close you will write in which method at the rate after method so that is your driver dot close you will write right so it is my close method close browser is a method and then inside that i will write a driver dot close okay getting my point so how many times which one i want to execute before and after each test case i want to execute launching particular url right so i will write once here and then if my url is getting changed all my test cases will be executed on that changed url right so i'll update in this once only once in this method and then my url will be changed for all the test cases so before method at the rate before a method is will be executed before every test annotation method so test annotation method is your test case actual verification of your logic where you write the test cases getting my point guys anyone any questions in this guys if you have any questions please ask in the chat okay so feel free to ask questions in between as well but ask in the chat okay so before class a method is marked as a with this annotation before it runs only once per class okay so only once per class means what how many classes we write that many times it will be executed so for a class this is your class right so this is my test case one class so in this class only once that will be executed okay so if you have something to do only once in a class you will use and it is not mandatory to use all the annotations okay you can use few in the script you can use few annotations in one framework it is not needed to use all the annotations in a one project or in a one framework no not needed based on scenarios you can use only test before method and before suit that's it okay so it is not mandatory to use all the annotations at the same time you can use different combination of and then different based on your need okay so after class it is a annotation will be executed after all the test methods in that current class have been executed okay so before test a method which is marked with this annotation will be executed before first test annotation method okay after test a method which is marked with this annotation will be executed when all test annotation methods complete the execution 
So, Rajini, okay. so firstly, we will put uh, at the rate before suit method and then uh, before method, then test, then after method. Where are we okay. going to put the before class? Okay, so that is what I'm saying. It is not mandatory to use all okay. in a one go. Okay, in a <laughs> one project only, you no need to write all that annotations in a one. If in case you have some scenario, for one feature you use once only the before class or after class okay in that also you use before class after class you don't use no worries on that okay so it is not mandatory to use any annotation or all the annotations okay you are it is very much flexible it is uh, based on a scenario okay it is not mandatory to use all annotation so i am giving you few examples where you can use which annotation okay so when we see practical maybe you will be having good clarity which one we will be using okay so and then basically annotations you can use so that program execution will be under control so how many times you want which one to execute that will be executed in that Okay, so now we will see before we move ahead with very details. So how to install this? You have to go to help Eclipse market space and then search here. Search here test ng. Okay. So here you will be able to find and then in the search you can write test ng ng is capital in the test ng so after you type in here search and then click on this button so it will search test ng i will write and then click on this search button Let's click on this find button okay so in eclipse market space help eclipse market space go to find and then test ng and hit enter so it will be finding test ng plugin in the eclipse so once it is found it will show up here you can click on install so for me it will show it will take few minutes okay yeah so for me it is showing as a installed okay so it is showing as a installed and then for you it will show as a install button okay so it is not installed for you then it will not show as a installed so you will get a button to install it so you will be able to install that okay along with this test ng you install maven as well so maven is a build tool again we will see maven in the same help eclipse market space input maven and press enter so maven plugin also you need to install so that we can learn framework so these are the basic things you should know so we will create a maven project along with the test ng page object model we will create a framework okay so here in this maven it is already installed it is showing like this for you it will show like this install okay if it is installed it will show installed so maybe if you have that installed already it for you also it will show installed okay do not worry it means it is installed on your machine and then click on a cancel if not click on this install button it will go through that installation okay so it will ask you and then press next so that installation will be completed that's it so how you will do that installations help and then eclipse market space no need to worry about any version or anything guys here which you are able to see the topmost install that okay according to your eclipse whichever is available you can install that okay so you will get an option test ng for eclipse okay that one you install do not worry about any version or anything and then click on a may one search okay so who is uh, having any questions 
what version of maven should be installed yeah so you can install maven integration for eclipse okay Luna or newer is fine, guys. Okay, any newer is fine. So this is working pretty well for me. Maven integration for Eclipse, Luna and newer. Okay, so you can go with this. It works pretty well. Okay. Here in the Eclipse market space, you will be able to see the plugins. Okay, that are different plugins available in the Eclipse okay you will be able to see this installed tab in this you will be able to see what all are installed for you okay in your Eclipse you will be able to see all everything which is so how we are able to open this Eclipse market space help Eclipse market space okay so what all are uh, installed these are the things okay two three that are installed okay so you want to change remove you can do that and install so and test ng and maven will take some time guys it is not a, in a second will be installed it will take some five ten minutes time so let it take and then click on a finish okay for you it will come as a finish then once you are able to finish the test ng installation so you will be able to see guys in this when you right click in any project run as okay so when you click on a run as you will get a run as test ng okay so where is that option is coming for me i'll see that and if in case it is run, run configuration and then i will uh, okay for me it is not showing okay what is the reason i'm not oh, just a minute guys so i will create a new project and then uh, what i will do is eclipse market space i'll go to and then in the installed i have this one installed the test engine okay okay i will uninstall this one update it is showing uninstall and then i will install again okay so finish okay so it is showing installed okay so once you do the uninstallation or installation you have to restart the eclipse then only it will be updated okay so i have to close it restart now
just a minute guys okay i will Okay, so uh, it is uh, restarted and then I'll install this test ng again. So guys able to see my screen? Yes, no? Yes, right. Yes, okay. Fine. So here I'll type in test ng and then search. Okay, and then we will see and then we'll install that. Okay. It is still showing installed. What is the issue with that? It is not uninstalled. Okay, so no worries. So you can install it and then if uh, something issues you get, let me know. So here one thing you have to do. So you will get a checkbox to select three checkboxes test ng and then you will get a test ng a me to maven integration test ng p2 feature so select all those three and then click on a next okay select all those three and click on next and then i accept the terms of license agreement and then finish okay so this way you can finish off the installation okay you have to select all three check boxes okay so what are the features of this test ng what are the advantages why it is very much famous or why people are using it okay so it provides the different annotations before and after okay so there is a after method annotation before on before method annotation so after suit before suit okay so before the suit like entire your framework executes once it will be executed after entire all your test cases executed it will run so you will have different annotations that are running and then that is advantage of test ng so there is a annotation depends on as well so depends on means what so you have a login functionality and then on that login functionality your other test case will depend on okay so other test case is my uh, test case verify home okay so i have to log in first and then verify home page so for home page test case i will write depends on login so if in case home page uh will be executed so in a sequence it will be executed first login will be executed so login gets failed then home page we no need to execute right so there is no point of executing home page verification test case when login itself getting failed so if you have some dependencies you can use depends on annotations okay you have dependent groups and then uh, you can write a data driven Test, uh, testing so you can do the data driven testing how using the test ng it provides reading the data from excel and then writing it 
and it provides the report so that is also again an advantage better reporting it is automatically generating right so you no need to write an external code for generating the report so if you go on writing the report for uh, any other extent report or any allure report or any dashboard report then it will be like huge amount of code you have to write but test ng providing you inbuilt html report that is already there okay already code is available already everything is available just install test ng report will be generated okay you can create the groups of test cases why we need to create a groups of test cases and how we can create and what is the advantage of that so when we create a group okay so what groups we create so testing types we have how many testing types we have like regression smoke sanity that kind of uh, groups we can create okay so my five test case group is for a smoke testing okay my 20 test case group is for regression testing my 50 test case group is end to end testing okay and my 100 test cases are integration testing so like this you can create a groups in your framework and then whenever i want to execute the regression i will call that group okay those five test cases or 20 test cases will be executed so what is a uh, having advantage of groups is you don't need to find out at that moment okay this is my regression test case or not this one to execute or not or if you have like 100 or 1000 test cases in all that you will be executing all every everything uh, every time no we have to execute particular test cases at particular time so not always we run all the automation scripts because uh, does it mean that okay we have all the automated scripts and then every day we are running the automation entire framework no it doesn't mean that we have automation and then we are executing every day all that no so it won't happen whatever is needed that we test even though we have automated scripts it is not a good idea to execute everything every day okay so we will be executing the scripts based on the need okay so if we are in a regression testing and then we are performing the regression so we will run regression whatever regression test cases are we create a group of that regression so 20 200 maybe it will be huge project i'm giving you small example so that you understand but in real time 200 test cases are there and that it will take only two three hours to execute and then all are executed you got a report and then you will submit it to your manager saying that okay regression is completed for regression if you are taking two three days what is the use of having the automation right so automation is to reduce the time to reduce the testing time we do the automation right and then we get the quicker results what is pass fail we get a quickly so 200 will be executed in a short time that is advantage of automation for that we are developing the automation scripts and then for that advantage we create a group different groups will be created and then that group front groups will be executed so parameterization of the test method that is also possible with the test case uh, test ng so test ng provides the test ng dot xml file so in that xml file you can write the parameters and then write the parameter so what are the parameters for a login you have username password so for a login method you want to provide the parameters username password different so you can use the parameterization and then run that method with the different set of data okay so in test ng we have got a xml based test configuration how the test ng dot xml file so in your project when you create a test ng project okay so in that you get a test ng dot xml file and then that will be giving you the flexibility and then advantages of xml based configuration okay so what is that test ng dot xml file is so okay just i'll let you know where it is okay i have uh, so that is form.xml is for the maven project okay all are the maven projects created majorly okay so 
I will check with my installation issues and then we'll discuss tomorrow. Okay, so I will switch the workspace to other. So these are different advantages of your test engine. So better reporting and then parameterization, different annotations all together. Okay. Rajni, can you explain the parameterization again? Where we use? What is the use of that? Okay. Parameterization is uh, just a minute. So parameterization parameters this annotation is used to pass the parameters to test method so you have a test method the test method is login okay so for that login test method you need to provide the parameters okay so you will be providing the parameters like uh, username and password in you know the uh, like the, we are using the concept functions over that over there like Uh, no, I did not get your question. Like uh, while passing the parameters, suppose at the rate parameter passing uh, login, then comma use, uh, sorry, username, comma password. We are passing two parameters, right? Uh, exactly how we write. Okay, this is the test method. To this, we can pass the parameter. Okay, so for this, what I will have to write at the rate parameters. And then what are my parameters I have to specify here? So my uh, username and then comma and then I have a password for example. So these are my parameters. So I will have to verify. I will have to give like this and this is my login method. Okay, for example, this is my login admin user. This is my method. Okay, so for this I have a two parameter string name comma string password okay so inside this whatever logic i'll write i will write using name and password okay and that are coming from these variables okay so these parameters nothing but these parameters so now what you will perform you will input password you will input username you will click on a login button you will be logged in inside this you will write so these parameters we can pass in the test ng and then you will uh, have to pass these parameters from the test ng dot xml file okay so test ng dot xml file is a file configuration you can do in that okay so in that you will write so xml is having the tag in xml file all the things are written in terms of tags only so parameter is a tag you have to write and then here you will have a username as a tag property okay attribute and then value as in you will pass abc and then and value as in something sorry just you have to use a parameter name so parameter name is my username okay and what is the value of user name is so abc and this name is you are giving here okay so this is this is your parameter name so this will come here exactly okay and value will be abc so in short abc is in this username and the name is assigned with the abc value and then inside abc user will be able to log in okay so like this you can write multiple okay so like this you can write multiple parameters you will write 10 so 10 times this login admin user will be executed with this 10 different values so here you will write one two three so different values you are what how many you have you can write in that way okay so we will see practicals you will understand much better theoretically you can just understand now for now for a test method which is a test case 
we provide a parameter and that pro parameter will be used in that test method okay so uh, if you ask questions like can i add parameter to other before method or setup method no okay so your test method can have a parameter okay so so this is about the test engine simple it is uh, we will see that and then you guys can have the installations also for may one okay so you can do the installations for may one and then we will see tomorrow so the steps to install is you have to go to eclipse market space and then search may one and then hit enter it will be executed follow that till it is completed so to accept terms and conditions click on finish so maven will be installed okay so how to create a maven project and then use test ng maven all together we will see tomorrow okay guys so after you create a maven project it will be like this a new maven project in that you will select the names and target and uh, you can create a project so it is simple like how we used to create just few changes are there so that we will see tomorrow guys any questions in this so, so rajni while creating the maven project so uh, which which template we have to select before the artifact id group id uh because uh, there is a template that we have to select there are a couple of templates which one we have to select how we will come to know okay yeah so for a uh, you know what uh, one thing is there so based on the template you are going to select the folders will be created src main java src test java yes so that we need okay so the template we should go for for the testing i will tell you which one to go archetype and quick start you select and then that will be good one and then that will have all the things that are needed for our structure our framework okay so we need src main java src test java we don't need src main resources src test resources developers may need that okay so this eclipse is for developers you know right so this is developers use for the java project and we are also using as a qa for automation so we use only one that is uh, uh, which one we use exactly i will tell that tomorrow okay so you can make a note of so that is a quick start and uh, org dot uh, maven dot you have to select org dot apache dot maven dot archetype and uh, quick start okay so maven archetype quick start 1.1 or 1.0 whichever is the latest 1.1 is fine so you can use that and then that artifact id you can use so it is called as artifact id which artifact id to use okay so you are asking same question right harpreet so harpreet you yes, already sir, yeah. uh no few things then good one actually yeah okay so guys will connect for java classes after 10 minutes okay